Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, what causes breast cancer? It's a very important question because breast cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in women in North America and most developed countries. Now, studies in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute over the years have shown this, that 50% of the cause of breast cancer is related to faulty dietary and lifestyle behaviors. Look up the work of Dole and Pito and Dr. Walter Willett from Harvard University. It's all right there in black and white. Another 30% comes from not having a full-term pregnancy by age 30 and not breastfeeding. And then about 20% of breast cancer is strongly genetic. So if you listen to the media, you know, they make it sound like 80% is genetic, but only about 20% is genetic. And so when it comes to the genetic causes, there's a couple of big ones. A woman can inherit what's called the BRCA1 or the BRCA2 gene mutation. This is a gene mutation where if, if there's some damage to certain parts of the DNA, you can't repair it that well. So it makes the woman more prone to cancerous changes because if damage occurs, she can't fix the damage in time. And then there's also what's called the HER2 receptor defect, where a woman will make breast cancer cells that just have way too many of these receptors on the cell surface and they bang into each other and they cause the cells to divide at a faster rate. When cells divide too fast, there's a greater chance that cancer will occur. So these women are more prone to breast cancer, but not all women with these defects actually develop cancer. So there's still, we think, a, a lifestyle or environmental factor that pulls the trigger. For instance, in Brazil, we still have women that have um, the BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene defect which is linked to an increased risk in breast cancer. And it's most prevalent in Ashkenazi Jewish women. So when they look around the world, they say, yes, Ashkenazi Jewish women have a high incidence of breast cancer, but not so much in Brazil. So they did a study to see, well, maybe they don't have that defect, but they do have the BRCA1 and BRCA2 defect at the same level as other Ashkenazi Jewish women living in other parts of the world. What's the difference? Dietary and lifestyle patterns are very different. So you don't have the same things triggering the disease. So women, no matter what their genetic risk looks like, should be practicing the most optimal dietary and lifestyle behaviors possible so they don't pull the trigger in case there's an underlying genetic defect. So what are the dietary and lifestyle factors that are most strongly linked to breast cancer where it gives you some control over helping to reduce the risk of the disease? It doesn't get talked about enough. We run for the cure and we walk for the cure. We have gallows for the cure. But a lot of that money goes to look for new drugs. I'm not against it. I'm just saying if 50% is caused by dietary and lifestyle factors, then let's help women understand what it looks like would be the most important things for them to do. So here's the evidence. Uh, these are the problems. A high animal fat diet, not enough activity, being overweight, alcohol consumption, using different forms of estrogen, being exposed to environmental estrogens, marginal deficiencies of vitamin D, vitamin B12, folic acid. And then there's other nutrients of, of, other nutrients of importance. Women need to be getting more ground flaxseed, more soy products, more curcumin, and other natural anti-inflammatories, which I'll explain to you, more cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, <clears throat> getting the right essential fatty acid, sometimes using melatonin as they get older. Don't get confused. This is all explained in detail in my 10-step breast cancer prevention program that's available right here. So I would suggest very strongly that you download it right now and read it through and get all the details so you understand how to manage your own lifestyle behaviors. Now, at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other published papers, review articles, uh, different videos, and live footage from my different uh, professional seminars other downloads and resources that are available to you for free that can all help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. Not just that you're alive with a heartbeat, but you're functional and you're, you're thriving even as the years tick away. All of my review, my review articles and my teaching materials come complete with all the scientific refer references to ensure that you're getting only evidence-based information that's reliable, scientifically based on any health topic that you're looking for. So be sure to use machinohealth.com is an ongoing, reliable source of health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.